Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon where I'm continuing my Japan playthrough. We are at June 1965. We are currently working on, let me go to active missions, uh, heat shield analysis. So we're constructing the Shobu rocket and that will be done in two months. And in the solar observatory on an Otsukare rocket and that will be done in four months. So just working on the rockets here. So the, the payloads are done and we will be ready to go pretty soon on those two, but not a uh, essential milestone at the moment. Uh, we could be working on orbital EVA and we have a slot available, but we don't have enough cash. So that is our problem. <laughs> we don't have enough cash. And hopefully the solar observatory is mostly science reward. This is the heat shield analysis is a cash reward. Um, the others are both science rewards. Taking a look at the moon, requests solar radiation is a science reward. So we don't have a lot of available cash reward sources. And that is why we're held up as far as trying to do the more milestone-y missions. The milestone missions. <laughs> I don't have to qualify that. Anyway, so our... Tech tree, we really need to work on the missions because we have a minus 25% cost to them at the moment. So the science bonus that we'll get will help. Anyway, I think we should just proceed with the missions we've already got on tap. Engineer available. An experienced propulsion system engineer has become available. Hiring them for your agency should boost the launch reliability, reliability for heat shield analysis missions launch vehicle by 10%. Um, I think that's too expensive given our current budget. Um, yeah. I think so. I want all the money. <laughs> I want all the money. Mars orbit research complete. Okay. But we're launching the Shobu rocket now. 10%, you know, I mean, that's very marginal. Increased frequency of suborbital launch windows, but launch reliability penalty for suborbital launch windows is reduced. I mean, it, it's better. That's trying to say it's better. All right. Well, it is a crewed mission. Maybe I should have gone with reliability, but um, this is our only orb uh, available astronaut. Minimum crew is... Oh, I forget. I always forget to say assign astronaut. I always assume that confirm will just pick the one I've got highlighted. But Okay, uh, training. Well, that's the only training we can do. So, launch date. Well, September looks good to me. Okay, so mission progress heat shield analysis. It's on its way. Taking a look at our next research, we should get this payload Nozomi, and that will unlock the tier that allows us to do crude moon landings, finally. So that is good. We could also plan the Mars orbit mission. Um, but I guess we need the payload. Mars fly. I guess we should do the Mars flyby, but... They're gonna be second in six months. I guess we should at least aim to be third. I, I I was thinking of just skipping by the flyby and going straight to Mars orbit though. Because we've got that. But this says build time will be four months. So that's still a while. Let me see. Mars orbit. I think only the Soviets have gotten that. Oh, no, Soviets and Chinese. Oh, well, Chinese uh, in 14 months will get there. Hmm. The Soviets will get there in two months. So far we've been focusing on crewed missions around Earth. And so orbital EVA is probably the easiest one for us to plan. You can see we, we've got the edge on that. And perhaps we should just proceed with that. Honestly, going to Mars orbit, even though it's required to unlock the crewed moon landing, it's not actually required. I mean, in, in real life, there's no need to go to Mars to do a crewed moon landing. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't understand the logic of that. But we can try and plan this. At least this makes sense for... Not only the date, by the way. The date is uh, pretty good. We're ahead on the game for Gemini. But then again, at the, at the same time as they were doing the Gemini missions, 
they were already working on Apollo, of course, where we are not. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's a 720,000 payload. We don't have that much. We'll have to do the heat shield analysis mission first, so let's just do it and hope that we get to do it. Lucrative. I like lucrative missions. Money hasn't been as much of a problem until now. Okay, so adequate conditions, plus 4%, that sounds good to me. I forgot the name of the astronaut. <laughs> well, uh, Godspeed, whoever you are. Off he goes. Is it he or she? I don't even know. I don't even remember. Twenty-five percent. Well, good enough. Five out of five for the Delta. They're perfect stages now. Okay. I guess I could auto-resolve this part, but I guess that doesn't seem like much fun anyway. The mini game it is. So you got four charge. I always feel like I'm thinking about this completely wrong, though. So. I'm very intimidated by this. We might as well use one charge and get that mission report. And then we can use those two data to generate two comms and two nav. That seems like a good deal. We should always use our crew member. So that's the first thing. And second thing, uh, if we get the data, we should go ahead and do this. But that'll fail if we do that. So maybe we'll wait on that. Let's... Uh, Go ahead and get this signal return test and then recharge. So it, it always looks like I'm missing the third one, but that's because it immediately does the recharge. Oh, barely. Oh, also really barely. Okay. But both of those were successful. Okay, now we've got the two data to do this one, and we can, uh, let's have our pilot do that again. One for two, <clears throat> excuse me, one for two always seems like a good deal, so we'll do that as well. That leaves one charge for saving us from a failure. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I definitely want to... Prevent the failure. Resist. That one was good. I'd like to even it out. I don't need the 97% if we can get fewer failures on the other ones. Additional comms. Well, that's good. We technically have the stuff fulfilled. That was narrow. Two turns remaining. I think we can get this done. Uh, let's make sure to get comms first, and then that. I mean, I get electricity first, I mean. And I'll get more electricity for now. Okay, except... We're almost there on the bonus reward. And it's a 50% bonus reward, too. That's pretty good. That's a lot of money. If it's... Um, yeah, if we get 50% bonus on the money, that's a lot of money. So, let's just try the safest route for getting that done. We need two nav. And we can use uh, one com to get four nav like this. We can get two extra nav like that, and then we can recharge again, and that allows us to resist the failure of either one of those. Well, we already had enough to resist. Anyway, it's fine. That one was good. 
Except this one is good too. So, a helpful pilot today. Uh, do we have a... No, we don't have a separate re-entry thing, so all is good. Splash down. Uh, I don't know what kind of heat shield analysis we were doing when the heat shield is going to be busted like that, but anyway. Maybe the astronaut did a little... Well, we haven't done an orbital EVA, so I guess the astronaut doesn't pop out to check. Okay, and we got bonus rewards, so now we're rolling in cash. Miyamoto. Recuperation, six months. Okay, good. Now we can plan a whole bunch of stuff. So let's view the plan for orbital EVA. Build this payload. And now we have another mission slot. And... I think I'll leave that open for the Mars orbit mission. We'll just go straight into Mars orbit for Nozomi. It says... Four months altogether, but it's so close to being done next month. Yeah, I think isn't it gonna? It is gonna be done next month, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't show it here, but I think it. The research will be ready for next month. I wonder if they actually model the fact that it takes six months to get to Mars. We haven't really gone to other planets before. Okay, anyway, Otsukare. Alright, a local power outage during the construction of the Gemini payload for your upcoming orbital EVA mission has resulted in minor damage to one of its components. Your engineers have estimated a 5% reduction in payload reliability, which is currently 75%, 70%, unless the component is replaced at a cost of 250000 5% reduction, marginally speaking, is not... And it's the uh, it's the spacecraft and not the launcher, so I'll leave that. Nozomi research complete. Okay. Okay. Increase science mission training bonus, decrease launch reliability. I always worry about launch reliability, most of all, of course. So, we better do the science training. And we can set a launch date of January. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, next research. Well, um, crude moon... I mean, we need the money, though. So, a commercial satellite is important, but shoot. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Let's proceed and make sure we nail that thing. Mars orbit. Okay, well, it looks like the Soviet Union will get first place, potentially. But maybe it is modeling the extra six months it takes to get there. So, plan, payload. We've got a very reliable little satellite. Okay, so all our slots are taken up. We've got the Solar Observatory that's going to launch. And yeah, I think we're good. Uh, maybe we should... I think it says that the Gemini 4 to Orbital EVA is ready, right? No, it completes in two months. Yeah, two months, okay. Um, I don't think we have anything else to do at the moment. Our research is a little bit weak now. But the Solar Observatory will help with that. Camera manufacturer has offered to work with your technicians to adapt its cameras for space photography and to train your astronauts on how to use it. They claim that photographs from crewed missions could prove hugely popular with the public. Yeah, I think I like photos. So we'll do that. Payload technology leak. Your astronaut Matsumoto Hitomi has inadvertently leaked details about the technology used in your Nozomi payload. 
The information could benefit other agencies, which had led to some in the media demanding the astronaut be dismissed. Your observers, uh, advisors suggest a fine, maybe more moderate response. Uh, astronauts are very um, expensive, so uh, let's just fine um, improve your relations with them. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna release full specifications right now. We'll just find the astronaut. Okay. I don't know if there's astronaut morale or something. Okay, orbital EVA payload complete. Vehicle parts gain two experience levels after launch. Minus 10% launch reliability. Launch reliability is the one that I wanted. Oh well. The payload reliability, 65% is really rough, but... Okay. 75% launch reliability. This is Solar Observatory, though. Okay. So we're just talking about the orbital EVA. It's confused me a little bit. Oh, it's raining. We'll have to delay. Terrible conditions. Yeah, let's reschedule. Uh, February, I guess. Okay, Nozomi will be complete in one month, too. Twenty five percent support reward increase. De uh, well, the increased vehicle build cost, that's not good. Okay, uh, it was just talking about Nozomi, now we're on Solar Observatory, okay. Alright, well, let's see. Hopefully the weather's better. Looks like it. The launcher's a bit dodgy. Adequate conditions, I guess we'll go with it. Okay. Are there launch pad explosions in this? I don't even know. I forget. It's got little little verniers going on there. That's nice. Ooh. Uh, negative. Minus one power for duration of the mission because battery damage. Well, it could be worse, I suppose. Alright, it's an ambitious mission, though. Our moose stage got a level. That's part of the reason why I was so... Bad on the launch reliability. The Delta stage is very good. Okay, Solar Observatory. We really need this to work, though. Minus one power is a big problem. And our first thing is just to achieve Earth orbit. I'll just focus on making sure that we get the minimum done. Probably safest with the problem we've had. So I'm gonna do those two. Get 2-2, two, two, and... I'll get that signal return test, and we'll have one to resist. So 2-2-2 two, two, two with three turns, we really need... That's like a minimum thing. Hmm. It's gonna be tight. Okay, visual spectrum sampling was successful, so we got the data. That's the most important, because we're using one data for the next thing. Okay, orbital realignment is good. Alright. And single return test is good, so we're on a roll here. Now we need a minimum of three. We need more charge, though. Let's nail the data and use one data to do that there to get the nav. And then we'll focus on comms the next round.
I don't think we can do the bonus with uh, one calm reduced. Not one calm, one power reduced, I mean. Okay. Well, all good so far. We really need the comms. And... I'll get a power to resist. And, yeah, we can't get the bonus reward because of the power issue. So, I'll just go ahead and sure comms. I mean, that's what we need. Let's see. We got the power. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Maybe I should have just got... Uh, we'll re just resist here. Yeah, and then we won't do the next one. That'll make it safe. Okay. Safety first. Would have liked the bonus, but we had the launch issue. Okay. So we've got more science now. And right now we don't have anything pending, it looks like, for some reason. Uh, these do not give money. Well, we, I guess we need more science anyway, but this is not much science. Orbital EVA. Let's just see what the plan is. Okay, the payload's done. We need the launch vehicle. Minimum 3.8 tons for the upper stage. And we've got this uh, Delta K, which is a reasonably reliable stage, though expensive. So, and it needs 7 tons worth of booster. And so, we can use the Delta with 2 boosters. And that'll be very reliable, but expensive. Nine months build time. Well, it's not like it, anybody else is working on it. Chibi! It's the, it's the least chibi rocket that we have. Chibi means shorty. Um, yeah. That... It's not a chibi rocket, but... Alright. We do have a spare slot. We can build a vehicle for the Mars mission now. Mars orbit mission. We need 2.2 tons. Um, looks like the Delta K is our stage. Expensive, but effective. And same deal, two boosters. Of course, these aren't the Delta stage boosters. Those are a little smaller ones. These are more like Titan boosters, but anyway. That's nine months as well. We got a long time to wait before we can do these things. That's expensive. Oh, we don't even have the money. Well, we'll have to wait on that. Yeah, the both the Soviets and the Chinese will beat us to it then. Or Mars orbit. It's a long time between missions. Early warning, images from your observation satellite have pr proved invaluable in the early detection of a hurricane. So we got more support from that. Whoa, suddenly all these things popped up. They don't usually pop up, but okay. How's our... Um... Oh, we could get some money for this orbital radio thing. But... Diplomatic mission with China for the moon micrometeorites. Do they pay for half or something? Anyway, um, let me take a look at the Mars mission. Yeah, we still can't build this. We could build it next time. Is somebody else gonna threaten my slot for third? I guess not. The US and ESA aren't threatening that. So maybe we should go with the money. Orbital radio. Let's see. How he how expensive a thing is it? It looks like it's a cheapie. Just an Osumi. I guess we could launch a more expensive thing, but if this'll do, this'll do. Yeah, that's not too bad. Actually, next time we might still have enough to pay for the Mars orbit mission. 
So yeah, I think we do. Let's see. Mars orbit, build. All right, we're really strapped for cash here. Crude moon landing research complete. Orbital payload, orbital radio payload. Contractor effects increased by 100%. What are the contractor effects even? I don't know. Okay. I always design a new vehicle for some reason. 25 kilograms is all, so this should be like a Lambda thing. Um, Lambda 4S. Everything else is more powerful. This will be fine. Oh, wait. I wanted to select that. And Lambda 4S. Why not? Cheap and effective, potentially. I mean, 74% launch liability, so we'll see. They're not paying us that much, though. So we've got that. We could build Apollo right now. And we only need one to go through the next one. But commercial satellite can be very lucrative. So the mass of Apollo is 45 tons, which is right. And... We would need to unlock two more of these to get the S4B stage, which we would absolutely need. We need the S4B and uh, Saturn 1B in order to launch the moon mission in here. So we need to unlock two of these and then those two, and then we can launch the Apollo mission to the moon. Or to Earth orbit as well, but I don't think that's even an option, so... They don't have the Earth orbit tests for the Apollo missions, as far as I know. And I always skip over the buildings. I think we're alright, though. Maybe. I don't think we need a PR office. Reduced vehicle build time would be nice. But we don't have the money for the actual building. We don't have the money for the rockets, either! Okay, so if we needed two of these, the capacity of the Centaur C seems rather useless. I think we are going to go with the Agena. Just, um, or maybe this is quicker to build. It's quicker to build. The launch reliability is horrible, though. They're all inner planet capable. Actually, well, I mean, I guess it's only Centaur D that's outer planet capable. Um, we've got the most reliable and expensive option here. Maybe we'll unlock the Centaur C as a cheaper option, but I don't know if we're going to get such a small payload. I guess we'll start working on that just so that we can eventually get to the next tier here. So that'll be our research. Commercial satellite's probably a good idea, though. I think this takes... It'll, it'll only be one month to get this done, though. Okay, my whole magic will be complete in two months. Okay. Centaur C research complete. We can probably knock out a Titan in, like, one month, so... If we were aiming for something that could launch a Centaur C easily. The huge capacity of the Titan II is nice though. It's not very expensive either. Oh, it'd have to be the Titan II booster that we aim for. Yeah, this is the upper stage. I didn't even think about this upper stage. <laughs> uh, I might have wanted to factor that in. There's four upper stages here. I uh, Anyway. Hmm, this is probably a better upper stage for... Well, I mean, are we going to do a lot of Earth Orbit stuff? I don't know. Anyway, we'll think on that. Titan 2 here. That's... That doesn't require the boosters to launch the Delta K then. And that might be quicker to build. It will be quicker to build than the Delta rocket. Uh, it's more expensive though. Very complicated, let's just get it done. 